Hello mga Kakit Angels! Welcome back for another Mathinic episode. This is Teacher Mika and this is Teacher Joy Me. Today, we will learn about laws of exponents. After going through this module, you are expected to derive the laws of exponent. But before we proceed to this lesson, I want you to give the product of each of the following as fast as you can. Number 1. 3 times 3. Okay, the answer is 9. Number 2. 4 times 4 times 4. The answer is 64. Number 3. 5 times 5 times 5. Alright, the answer is 125. Number 4. 2 times 2 times 2. The answer is 8. Number 5. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Very good. The answer is 32. What if I ask you to give me the product of 2 when multiplied by itself 100 times? Will you still solve it manually just like what we did with our previous examples? Or do you think there's an easier way to write down this expression mathematically? This leads us to our first lesson on quarter 2 week 5 which is Laws of Exponents Exponents are also called powers or indices. Mathematically speaking, in A raised to N, a is the base and n is the exponent, index, or power. The exponent of a number says how many times to use the number in a multiplication. For example, 3 squared means you have to multiply the number 3 to itself twice, and that is equal to 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. Let's now proceed to the loss of the exponent. In here, we will discuss n times, power of powers, product of powers, quotient of powers, law for zero exponent, and law for negative exponent. Are you ready? Let's have first the n times, which tells that the base is multiplied n times to itself. Mathematically speaking, it is a raised to n, which is a times a times a times a times a, and so on and so forth. Here are the examples. For letter a, we have 6 raised to 4. That means you have to multiply 6 by itself 4 times. That is... 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 is equal to 1,296. Example letter B. 2 raised to 5 means you have to multiply 2 by itself 5 times. That is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 which is equal to 32. And lastly, example letter C. 9 cubed means you have to multiply 9 by itself 3 times. That is, 9 times 9 times 9 is equal to 729. Number 2. Power of powers. Which tells us that to raise a power to a power, just multiply the exponents. Mathematically speaking, the quantity of a raised to m times the power of n is equal to a raised to the product of m and n. Example letter a. The quantity of a squared times the power of 3 is equal to a raised to 2 times 3 which is equal to a raised to 6. Example letter b. The quantity of 2 cubed times the power of 4 is equal to 2 raised to 3 times 4, which is equal to 2 raised to 12. Example letter C. 
the quantity of 4 raised to 5 times the power of 2 is equal to 4 raised to 5 times 2 which is equal to 4 raised to 10. Number 3. Product of powers which tells us that when multiplying two powers that have the same base, you can add the exponents. Mathematically speaking, a raised to m times a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. Here are the examples. Letter a, a raised to 5 times a raised to 6 is equal to a raised to 5 plus 6 and that is a raised to 11. Example letter B. 4 cubed times 4 raised to 1 is equal to 4 raised to 3 plus 1. And that is 4 raised to 4. Example letter C. 6 cubed times 6 raised to 7 times 6 raised to 4 is equal to 6 raised to 3 plus 7 plus 4 is equal to 6 raised to 14. Number 4. Quotient of powers tells us that we can divide two powers with the same base by subtracting the exponents. Mathematically speaking, a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. Example letter A. A raised to 6 divided by A raised to 2 is equal to, we will just copy the common base which is A and then we will subtract our exponent so that is 6 minus 2. Therefore, our answer is A raised to 4. Example letter B. 3 raised to 4 divided by 3 raised to 2 is equal to, we will just copy the common base, which is 3, and then we will subtract our exponents, so 4 minus 2. Therefore, our answer is 3 raised to 2. Example letter C. 11 raised to 9 divided by 11 raised to 3. So we will just again copy our common base, which is 11, and then subtract our exponents, 9 minus 3. Therefore, our answer is 11 raised to 6. Number 5. Law for zero exponent. Any non-zero number raised to the power of 0 equals 1. Mathematically speaking, a raised to 0 is equal to 1, where a should not be equal to 0. Here are the examples. Letter A, 100 raised to 0 is equal to 1. Letter B, 9 raised to 0 is equal to 1. And letter C, 1 million raised to 0 is equal to 1. Lastly, we have the law for negative exponent, which states that any non-zero number raised to a negative power equals its reciprocal raised to the opposite positive power. Mathematically speaking, a raised to negative n is equal to 1 over a raised to positive n. On the other hand, 1 over a raised to negative n is equal to a raised to positive n. Example letter a. a raised to negative 4 is equal to 1 over a raised to positive 4. Example letter B. 3 raised to negative 8 is equal to 1 over 3 raised to positive 8. Example letter C. 1 over 5 raised to negative 2 is equal to 5 raised to positive 2. Example letter D. 1 over 9 raised to negative 5 is equal to 9 raised to positive 5. Now, let's answer together these following supplementary examples. First, we have 3 raised to negative 4. In this example, we will apply the law for negative exponent. So, our answer will be 
1 over 3 raised to 4. Next is 1 over 10 raised to negative 5. Again, in this example, we will apply the law for negative exponent. Therefore, our answer is 10 raised to 5. Another given, a raised to 7 divided by a cubed. In this example, we will use the quotient of powers. To get the answer, we will copy the common base, which is a, and then we will subtract the exponents, which are 7 and 3. So we have a raised to 7 minus 3, which is equal to a raised to 4. Let's have now the quantity of 11 squared times the power of 5. In this example, we will apply the power of powers. So we have 11 raised to 2 times 5 is equal to 11 raised to 10. Another one, 3456 raised to 0. In this example, we will apply the law for 0 exponent. So therefore, our answer is equal to 1. We have to given 4c raised to 5 times 2c raised to 7. So we will apply the product of powers here. With that, we will first multiply the numerical coefficients, which are 4 and 2. And then, with the literal coefficients, we will just copy the common base, which is C, and then add the exponents 5 and 7. Therefore, our answer is 8C raised to positive 12. Next. 3 raised to 5 times 3 raised to 7 times 3 raised to 2. Again, we will apply the product of powers. So, we will just copy the common base, which is 3, and then add the 3 exponents, 5 plus 7 plus 2. Therefore, our answer is 3 raised to positive 14. Let's have x raised to 11 divided by x raised to 8. Obviously, the applicable law of exponent here is quotient of powers. So, we will just copy our common base, which is x, and then subtract our exponents, 11 minus 8. Therefore, our answer is x raised to 3. Next, y raised to negative 23. So, we will apply the law for negative exponent, and that will give us 1 over y raised to positive 23 as our answer. Lastly, we have the quantity of d raised to 5 times the power of 6. What do you think is the applicable law of exponent here? Very good! It is the power of powers. And by applying that law, we have d raised to the product of 5 and 6, and that will give us D raised to positive 30. That ends our lesson today. We hope you learned something. See you on our next episode, Calcute Angels. Keep safe!